Blessings, welcome forward to Reasons Right at the Trail Live are on the road and I think we are in Raman, where are we? <laughs> where are we? Manchester. Okay, we're in Manchester, but what part of Manchester? Uh, near Mile Gully. Okay, so we're near Mile Gully and um we're here to film This river is called Nisey River. Nisey? Nisey River. Oh Nisey River. Yeah, so we're here to film um our next installment of videos, right? I'm packed like totally packed so my hands are you know quite filled you know with everything you know so we're jump packing both hands as well and it's a it's actually a Saturday yeah, wow. it's, 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 it's actually a Saturday um, afternoon and um, I think the river usually has a good amount of you know people um, like you know coming out and you know and you know over this way okay and so forth so and we're gonna give you a spin around in a few uh, after spots but for now we're just taking the, the trail up to a quiet little spot where we can sit down and you know shoot and of course i want to get you some shots of the river as well too you know because we couldn't be coming this far and not show that yes yeah, so we actually made it to the spot where we're setting up so we are. yeah yeah i should get some mangoes as well too actually the place i'm staying i'm on got those there yeah, so this is um all the way up in um Mile Gully eh? and this is um Manchester. This is like middle uh interior Jamaica. So you know most time Raman is usually in my part of town, right? Well no, I mean this part of town. You know normally when I'm on the road I always have to, you know, link up and get some stuff done. So we are finishing up some stuff today and videos and some other things and plus shoot some as well too so well it's, it's a simple place i mean and i guess not as busy because of the way the times are these days and the way they're acting with people who um come to like water spots and river parks because i think the the government had closed a lot of these places before and i think um so it's just that they're just opening up back a lot of these places so we're just getting to see you know like this kind of a vibe although i don't think it stopped because the government had closed down certain places i just think that they didn't feel as comfortable right that you know you know that they were kind of being chased out of the rivers and out of the water bodies so the government opened it up but i think they're making some weird stuff about you know whatever so you know i don't play their kind of mental space so i'm only mentioning it because i'm in a public space right so it's good to see at least a lot of people here even though uh it's not as relaxed as we probably would want right because the cops are always around and they weren't always around before and i think they're around a lot now in these times and you kind of sometimes feel the idea of this police state creeping up on you and how you know it because it has nothing to do with cops and they're here telling you about they want to keep you safe in a, in, in a space like this. Anyway, enough of me. I'm going to show you a panorama of the river. Yeah, this kind of reminds me in a similar way when we were at um, Blue Hole. Yeah, and that's in Sentan, right? I mean, the water is blue in Blue Hole, but the way in which they, like the space of the river is laid out, because you know where I'm from, the rivers aren't like this. <laughs> you right? Because you, you see my rivers all the time. So you know what my rivers look like, right? And they're not as wide, and um, the, the, the rock formations are different, different types of rocks in the river where I'm from. So, yeah, and I don't know if you saw before, so let me just show you how clean the water is. This, this is generally something that happens almost everywhere in Jamaica. The rivers are usually clean, and it's not an invitation to come and pollute them. It's just to say that something about us as people is working in sync with the natural order. And it might be strange, but you see when ideologies change, believe it or not, building practices change, commercial and cultural practices change, and then you know what industrialization and then pollutants begin to find its way 
into such water sources. I know people think we sell our cultural lifestyle in Jamaica. It's not that. We're trying to remind people that God and nature made something that is good as it is before we poison it, right? And toxify it with all the chemical stuff we put into these things, right? And so then people come to Jamaica and they take for granted our living space. Because if they don't have that respect for the environment, they're going to mistreat and mishandle the experience of our natural environment and the natural vibrations that happen within our natural environment. So we cannot take this for granted about the quality of our water resource and this industrialized mentality that's trying to tell us, right? That, you understand me? We should be the ones um, weary of polluting the water. Well, we know we've been using the waterways for thousands of years, thousands upon thousands of years, and have not polluted it. This is deep, heavy metals and highly toxic chemicals from farming and from all the agro-processing and all of that stuff that you're dumping into the water bodies. That's what's contaminating the rivers. That's what's contaminating the streams. It's not a few people coming to have a nice time by the river. We've been doing this for thousands of years. The fact is, these pollutants in the water, that's what's causing all these issues. That's what's making things look the way it is. So, before we get judgmental against our own people telling us about we need to be protected and, and all that from all these things that we construct and we create, I think you need to get back into the realization that when all your craziness is done, look around you. I always say this, it's not a trivial statement. I'm really saying, look around you, like literally, look around you. Do you know of anywhere else within the realms that is where we are, but right here in life? So if we don't take care of what's around us, we're going to be surrounded with nothing but garbage and pollutants and everything that is destructive. That's all that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, so you know, we are here and you know, it's an awesome time and we, we run into two wonderful people, you know. <laughs> uh, Bridget and him Queen, right down here. You know, we're Jamaican people. So introduce yourself. Yeah, Dalton. My name is Desri. We're both the owners of Cape Box Jamaica and Top Choice Delivery Services. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a restaurant, catering services down here? Baking supply, well sorry, the Cape Box Jamaica is a baking supplies company and we deliver across Jamaica and Top Choice Delivery Services we deliver between Clarendon and St. Thomas. Whoa, that's good. <laughs> see, I like professional people, you know. You see this? This is how business work. You understand me? It's a pleasure meeting you both. No problem. Love the yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah. So you come here, you guys come here often? This first is our time. first time here. Whoa, yeah. my first time too. <laughs> yeah. It's a I good energy. I came here for his birthday. <laughs> Where's your earth, huh? Yesterday. yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> happy belated, King. Yeah, man. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Every Just time. Just turned 20. 20? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> that, that's a very mature 20. <laughs> 20 with experience. <laughs> so, people, you know the energy you already know, on the road for the wonderful people. Checking out the vibe right here. Yeah, nice place. Jamaica it's a very energy. nice place. Nice Trust me. When I tell you to come check out the one I'm up at St. Andrew's, you know, because I'm from Garden Town, and Garden Town have a, have a, pen, yeah, a river coming. Penfield. Penfield. We've yeah, been up there. there. See there? We've been up there. We're well traveling now. We're well traveling. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's good to run into beautiful people. That's what I said. Yeah, man. All right, good night again. Yeah, man. Best of yourself, man. Yeah, man. Full joy yourself. All right. All right. Blessings. As we say, you know, the vibe, just the Jamaican energy. You know, Jamaican people, as we say, we are inviting warm. Not as a commercial statement, but just as how we stay actually, you know what I mean? And interesting people. Hey, there's a nice cotton tree over there, sir. You know, I always talk about the cotton trees. And I know it's about three on the way here. You're probably wondering why I'm talking about the cotton tree. I'm actually talking about the cotton tree because, you know, the spirits and the ghosts and the ancestors, they are always said to be, and I know that, inhabiting the cotton tree. So, that's good. Yeah, and there's just more people coming in the road across there, eh? heading in. Nice, nice community. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just setting um, for, as I told you, we're setting up for the sealer shoot. So I'm just kind of just doing my little behind the scenes and catching up the vibe. Yeah, my first time here and I like it. Like I said, it reminds me of blue holes and um, kind of a similar atmosphere to one. And even the people who help you at blue holes too, usually tend to be very, very cool people as well. Too. It's not interesting those two guys, right? like business and professionals like that. Yeah, that's so awesome. Awesome. <laughs>